A great prototype is the key to a successful game, because here's the thing, professional developers have refined three techniques that you need to know to make sure your game succeeds. So what makes a great prototype? Simplified to the core element is the first technique used by Alex Beecham, one of the two designers of Outer Wilds. When creating the prototype for Outer Wilds, Alex Beecham constructed it purely with paper. While this may seem strange, it's perfect because the prototype does exactly what it needs to do, test the narrative. The paper prototype completely abstracted away the space travel and focused on what you wanted to test, the underlying narrative structure. Technique 1 states that the key to a great prototype is to simplify the prototype down to its core element, or the risky idea that defines a unique part of the game. Successful games are born out of these prototypes because the prototypes explore and refine the core of the game quickly. We needed a way for players to test the game's entirety narrative structure in a fraction of the time it would take during a normal playthrough. Once the narrative structure was more finalized, Outer Wilds team moved on to digital-based prototypes, but only after proving out the core mechanic. Outer Wilds owes its three rewards, best game, best game design, and best narrative to this technique. However, to use this technique properly, you need to understand the secret weapon of these two developers. In their GDC talk on advanced prototyping, Chaim Gingold and Chris Hecker shared the key to a great prototype is to ask a testable question. Good prototypes make some kind of claim. Once you have the prototype written, you should be able to tell if it actually worked. Posing a testable question about a core element is the best way to prototype that idea. The second technique helps you clearly verify if a core element is working. An effective question will have a clear-cut yes or no answer. That way, it is obvious to determine the prototype's failure or success. An effective question will also be clearly testable. It's much harder to test if controls feel fun than test if a jump is responsive. As an exercise, try asking a question that will test this core idea. Platforming, but you can't jump. I would ask, can a falling character feel responsive to control? According to a developer for coming up with good testable questions is critical to creating a successful game. The ambitious projects I had undertaken in the past failed because I had made the mistake of not proving out the core ideas and prototypes. While it can be difficult to come up with good testable questions, Technique 3 can help you out. One way to come up with ideas to test is to make a little informal experience like Derek Yu, the developer of Spelunky. When I approach prototyping, I treat it like a doodle. By experimenting with outer defined direction at first, you open yourself to creative ideas ideas that you can refine using the previous two techniques. These doodles can take different forms from small sketches to little unnamed projects in your game engine of choice, but they all act to get you thinking and give you material to build off of. You want to be inspired, especially because motivation and curiosity will drive you to make a lot of progress while having fun. These three techniques will help your game succeed, so it's critical that you understand them. In fact, in implementing these techniques myself, I've been much more productive in the development of my own game. When developing the prototype for my game, I needed to test the core idea of multiplayer combat, so I asked the testable question, can network robot code feel responsive in combat? And so the answer was a clear no, because of issues relating to physics. So I tested a second idea, can entity interpolation code feel responsive in combat? I found that indeed it was more responsive. Having discovered this paved a clear road of progress and dramatically increased my motivation to work on the game in its current state to alpha. These three techniques we've talked about has led me today with a promising game and three key takeaways for you. Simplify to the core element, ask testable questions, and doodle. I'll be linking some of the resources I used in the description. If you want to learn more about the multiplayer, check out this video. And as always, thank you to my subscribers. I'll see you in the next one.